Hey there, my name is Shambak and I'm a level 300 student of PNSD reading medicine and today we are going to talk about medicine. Um, medicine refers to the uh, practice of diagnosing, treating and preventing diseases. Um, medicine has been around for thousands of years and most of, um, most of which it had been considered an art of religious and philosophical beliefs. Um, so, for instance, when a medicine man um, um, wants to heal a patient, he will say prayers and apply herbs in order to treat the patient. Um, so the prayers um, covers the religious aspect and the application of herbs covers the philosophical aspect. And, um, but in recent times, and due to the advent of modern science, uh, medicine has been considered a combination of both art and science. Now let's talk about the history of medicine. Um, Hippocrates is considered um, the father of medicine and he, um, he was regarded the greatest um, physician of his time. And his, um, he based his medical practice on the observations and the study of the human body. And he held the belief that um, illnesses had a physical and a rational explanation. And one of the greatest um, breakthroughs in medicine was the discovery of the micros microscope at the end of the 16th century. This, um, this device um, was very crucial in medicine because it enabled physicians to actually um, um, study microorganisms at, which could not be seen with the human eye um, very well enough to, for drugs to be developed to work against them. Yes. And now let's talk about the requirements for medicine. Um, in QNST, uh, medicine requires um, credit passes in um, core subjects, three core subjects and three elective subjects, with the core subject being English, core mathematics, and integrated science. And the elective subject being um, biology, chemistry, and physiology, uh, sorry, physics or elective maths. Yes. Upon um, entry medical school, students are required to take an entrance exam and um, also are uh, given an interview. So once these requirements are met, um, one can now regard himself as a medical student. <coughs> now let's talk about um, what the study of medicine entails. It involves um, um, the study of anatomy, physiology, and pathology, Biochemistry and pharmacy. Pharmacy, yes. Being, um, but you should know that being a doctor isn't um, knowing or um, isn't all about knowing theory um, associated with the human body and disease. It entails much more. Um, it involves knowing. It involves being compassionate and kind to others and relating well to others. Is because um, you could know how to give. Um, know the particular the right drug to give for a particular condition, but um, if you are not um, um, able to relate well with your patient, you might not be able to get enough information to make a right diagnosis of um, a particular condition. So relationships are also important. <laughs> and after six years of medical school um, and passing your exams, you become a doctor. Really, and um, medical school. Once um, once done with, once completed with medical school, there's a two years, two year uh, foundation program, also known as housemanship. Um, this is where the medics um, actually um, get to decide what they want to do as doctors. Doctors. So um, let's talk about the types of doctors. So first of all, we have the general practitioners. Um, these are doctors that treat acute illnesses and. Um, chronic illnesses as well and provide preventive care and education to patients and we have specialists specialists are doctors who are trained in one or more particular fields of medicine and they are skilled in those fields of course now um, examples of specialists include uh, include surgeons orthopedics ophthalmologists radiologists neurologists and um, psychiatrists um, immunologists and new um, 
sorry, anesthetics. So that's about that, about medicine. Thanks for watching. Yeah.